Atlas.io. Emily and Roger talk cooking, episode oh, muscles. Oh, well, Emily's got her new cat helmet on there. Because you know the site. I bought a helmet too. I'm not going to wear it. Put it on, 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 put it on. I look like a dork though, Emily. <laughs> chef dork. <laughs> I'm not a chef rad dad here, I'm a chef dork. Come, it's coming off. I only wear that when I'm cycling just for, uh, you know. Okay, so this week Emily and Roger cook uh, episode mussels, and this is from uh, well, it's from a restaurant I used to work at a long time ago called the Hobby Horse Arms. And in 1994, they came out with a cookbook, cookbook, leave your hand, cookbook, leave your hand, cookbook and cookbook and dairy. I think it's supposed to be diary, but they put dairy. <laughs> this came out in 1994. So this is like the restaurant basically where I learned how to cook. We used to make everything from scratch. Oopsie, nice toast. Yeah, he does buy it Like from dressings to the sauces, we brought in like fresh trout, you know, like um, meats and stuff like that, cleaned everything there. The one dish that, one of the, the first dish that I probably learned how to cook ever on the line in a kitchen was something called, something called, something here. Where is it? Here they call it steamed mussels in a white wine sauce. And then, uh, so I remember, we're pretty close to the last page right there. So that's pretty that much the uh, one of the first things you can read at Tinley. That's what Rita Tinley taught me. Yeah, I might rest my uh, soup recipe for carrot soup. Tonight. So uh, I thought I'd go back to basics here and cook from the. Uh, over here? It's the one that looks like. I think it's, it's blue and then the oil gets stuck in it. I think it's crazy. Yeah. So anyway, so this book is from 1994. 10th anniversary, so they must have opened in 1984. Hmm. I worked there in the late 80s. Uh, anyway, so there you go. Do you like mussels, then? Mm -hmm. Oh, God. I had an entire two bowls of them. Mm -hmm. What, mussels? That's when you were out east, though, right? Yeah. You cooked them right on the beach? Um, how can you not remember how you had them? So you were 10, like, five years ago. Anyway, so the recipe here, <laughs> it's, uh, yeah, so it's the first thing that, one of the first things I cooked on the line in the kitchen. It was, uh, steamed mussels. Five years ago, I was only 30. Do you believe that? No, it's not true. Oh, I thought it was. Alrighty. Five years ago. I'll say 48, sure. I thought I was 35 years old. Mm. Mm. Hey, do you know every time a, 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 like a bell rings, an angel gets its wings? Do you think they have, what, honey garlic, hot sauce, barbecue? What kind of wings do you think angels like? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> anyway, okay, so let's get cooking some mussels in a uh, white wine cream sauce. <laughs> Are you filming? <laughs> yeah. Emily? Thumbs up means yes. Oh god, Emily, you're driving me crazy. Oh shit, my plant's dying. Huh? I forgot to water it. Seriously? Yeah. Okay, first thing we do is we gotta clean the muscles. 
I think these ones when I bought them are already kind of clean. But sometimes you get like, um, you get like, that's like, a, they call it a beard comes out of here. You gotta peel that off. You also look for the open ones that are in here. I saw at least one. One that was open? Yeah. To get the open okay. ones, what you can do is you just, just tap them. Let's see the, uh, see that on there? You just take that That's off. Pretty weird. Yeah, these ones are pretty good, huh? Usually when you wash them, they'll start to close anyway. You don't want to get any sand and stuff. These are actually nice and clean. Through these. Look, the the, there's, there's an open one. It's open. Let's give it a tap. He's mm. dead. Aww. So we don't eat the dead ones? No. Why? Right. It's because you get sick. Um. There's another one that's open. Give it a little tap. Not closing. I saw a, I saw a shell. Yeah, sometimes they, they're broken. These are nice and clean. Oh, well, it might just been a reflection. They have those barnacles or whatever that stuff is. You can, you can take a brush and scrub them. Clean I saw clean. one that was like completely open. Yeah. But it might just been a reflection. Like rest of the restaurant, you clean all this stuff off. But... You hear that? Yeah. You're closing? Yeah, well, you hear it making noise? Yeah. Okay, so now they're, yeah, these are, these are pretty good. So I'll just rinse them one more time. So I got the muscles. Well, uh, there's a lot of dead ones. Yep. Put that on the pot. Excuse me. A little white wine. That's not a little bit. Nope. 35% cream. I've never seen this before. 35% cooking cream. Huh? So. I don't know what the difference between is. delicious addition to soups, sauces, dips, appetizers, pastas, and more. Rich, smooth, and velvety texture, formulated to withstand high heat and to resist splitting and curdling. So, what's the difference between this and regular thirty-five percent cream? I didn't think. I don't know why. Like, what do they do? Cooking cream. I don't know. Anyway, let's put some cream in there. That's not some. Yes, it is. It's half the bottle. I know. It's not some. It's, like, it's only like half a liter, basically. I'm not sure. Is that one dead or something? Why is it all white? Let's get rid of that one. Oh, it's just the cream. Why? So the recipe from the Hobby Horse, it calls for uh, garlic and basil. I have some pesto here. So that's what it is. That's basically garlic and basil. I'm sure it's got pine nuts and olive oil in it, but whatever. So I'll put some of that in there. Give it a stir. Fresh tarragon. Cover them up. And we wait. Pause. Okay. Going? Yeah. Uh -huh. 
So after I just take the muscles out, put them in the bowl there. I just gotta finish the sauce and the uh you can see the sauce there. You see the sauce? Yeah! Oh okay. So I'm just gonna add uh let that sauce reduce down and thicken up. I'm just gonna add some butter to it. Or if you say in French, Monte au beurre. Mm. Take that one to your French class, that's good, huh? Monte au beurre. Okay, swirl it around. You filming the sauce? It's a beautiful sauce I got going here. So that's just a reduction. If it gets a little bit too thick, or too... This cream gets a little bit thick. Got a little bit of chicken stock here. There we go. It just loosens the sauce a bit. You're hungry? Are you hungry? I'm hungry. So here's our mussels. Got them in the bowl already. Oh, Jesus. Let's get our sauce on there. See, normally, Emily, you'd serve this with a nice crusty French bread. Again, I forgot to buy bread, but I have bagels. Yay! <laughs> And then you put the bowl on top. Jimmy crickets, put the bowl on top. All I have are these big cereal bowls. Red rolls. Put a piece of lemon there. Why on top? Ah, that's fun. There we go. It looks weird. Muscles hobby horse. I know normally you'd have a bigger bowl. <laughs> There's a random piece of lemon on top. Yep. Oh. 